Sup all, JC3 here, the baller of YouTube in general. Welcome to Topic Tackle. My take for today is probably one you haven't heard yet on James Harden's new move. I know there's been many takes on this move already. Everybody got opinions. Some are certified trolls, some are legitimate. But I want to bring up a different aspect concerning this move today that you may have never thought of. So if this is new to you or if you've had this thought in your mind but we're waiting for someone else to say it leave a thumbs up on this video comment down below this is topic tackle let's go Because it's not travel, and, <laughs> and, and 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 the NBA, especially the highest level of basketball, you got to find ways to get better every single year, and you got to find ways to create an advantage every single year, and that's what I'm doing, you know. And it's not travel, and I'm, this year I'm gonna come up come up with something more creative that is gonna look like it's travel, but it's not. And, and, and honestly, that was James Harden this summer in response to some kid on if his patented step back is a travel. Besides the humor here, notice what he said. This year I'm gonna come up, come up with something more creative that is gonna look like it's travel, but it's not. And, and, and honestly. Well, gosh darn it, this man has done it. The new move highlighted in summer runs in the NBA preseason is here, and it takes the form of a one leg step back, sidestep, sometimes running jumper. Of course, this got met with some backlash on the internet. Just check out the constructive criticism in this comment section, but hey. What do you expect from many people online? And unlike many people online though, I preface my take on this move today by saying it's extremely impressive. Question. Do you know how skilled you have to be to score on an NBA defender? No, really, do you know? I don't, but I can tell you this. When I play pickup, I'm reminded of one main thing. The NBA athlete must be in phenomenal shape to be effective. So what does this tell me? James Harden is at such an elite level that he's no longer concerned with keeping up with the pace of play and simply surviving on the floor. He knows the game so well that he's literally creating a new move to add another advantage to his offensive repertoire. And he's executing this move, which is at an elite level of difficulty against NBA defenders at NBA speed. If it will work consistently, now that is yet to be seen. Now I admit I've poked fun at Harden's step back in the past, calling it a double step back because it does look like a travel sometimes, but in saying that, I've never discounted the level of difficulty on the move. Seriously, try pulling something like this off consistently in pickup, and you'll learn you ain't no James Harden. Now with this said, here's where I shift gears and give my take. This move is a terrible influence on young players. And no, I'm not blaming James Harden for this because like he said, he's gotta come up with creative ways to score every year. Note though, that he has the skill and puts in the time to be able to successively execute his signature offensive moves. Remember a popular take a few years back on how Steph Curry was ruining the game of basketball by taking and making so many threes? His influence had these young kids shooting threes before they could make a layup because, well, they wanted to be like Steph Curry. Was that Curry's fault? No, the man found out that he could make a living and be ultra successful successful by playing to his strengths. Keyword, strengths. Now, how could I say that Harden's move is going to influence young players? Because this has happened throughout history and it ain't stopping now, people. Look at the ad campaigns. James Harden is different. That's just not real basketball. Game, different. Step back, way different. And if being the greatest scorer ever makes you different, then that too. Which would you rather be? Understood or unforgettable? Look at his fourth signature shoe with the hashtag go with your move on the back. Especially if this one legged step back, sidestep, runner, whatever the heck you want to call it, becomes regularly integrated into his game and is successful. Oh, well, you better believe some AAU coaches finna lose their minds. I can also speak from personal experience. When I first got into basketball in 2008, the Celtics had just won the title and I wanted to be just like Ray Allen and hit corner threes. And before I can consistently hit layups, I was out on the court trying to shoot corner threes. If you still ain't getting my point, you can comment down below. But if this really relates to you in any way. What player did you try to emulate growing up? I'm certainly not an old head, but for real, if any kids are listening, get the fundamentals down first and build from there. You'll be so much better if you do. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you think James Harden's new move is a terrible influence on young players? Remember to subscribe, like, leave your feedback, comments down below, and we'll be back with more Topic Tackle coming soon. JC3, out.